Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Yarek here. And today my mission is a little bit different than always. I'm gonna polish the ember, of course, but I always try to make the stone as big as possible after the polish. So today I will make it as best as possible to make pictures. And what is the difference? Uh, basically, when I try to make the stone bigger, I leave, uh, you know, an even surface. And that distorts the images. Uh, because uh, when you look at the insect from the side, it's being distorted. So we need to make the surface flat where the insect is. So we can see it the best. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. So, let's go. And for that I picked not one, not two, but three small pieces. Like really small, like a gram or even less. This one contains a beetle of some sort. I will identify it after I polish it. This one uh, contains some sort of flying insect. And this one contains a flying ant. As you can see, there's, uh, the pieces are really small. So the dremeling will go really, really fast, but I have to be really, really careful. I know I said small, but I guess you're wondering how small, so let's see. One piece is weight 2 grams, 26. Other one, 1 gram, 66. And the last one will be the smallest, which is 1 gram, 53. So basically, all of them together is a little bit more than 5 grams, so really tiny. So let's make them wet and start grinding. One, two, three. Damn it, I forgot something, guys. There, much better now. Now I'm safe and won't inhale any dust. And there we go, the link of the first piece is done. Let's go to the next one. I need to check constantly. It's very close to the surface, like extremely close. After these three tiny stones, I will need help of the guy who, you know, makes the nails because I keep scratching them with the dremel. <laughs> Come on! Sorry guys, I had to make a coffee break because this last piece was super stressful for me. Oh, much better. 
and it was stressful because it's at the very top of the surface and it's the piece with the flying hand. I have zero flying hands in my collection, so I wanna make it perfect. <laughs> or at least, you know, intact, not scraped off from the piece. <sighs> Time to finish it, let's go! are safe for now, this ant is the under most pressure when I will go into pre-polish. The beetle is really thin, like extremely thin. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I was always starting from 800 grit, or from 400 grit, and because the pieces are so small and I don't want any mistakes, I will start from 800 grit with the pre-polishing. Let's start. So, I have my sandpaper, 800 grit, there you go, I have my pieces, let's grind them out into pre-polish, with water, of course. Eight hundred grit is done for this piece, yes, it's all bumpy, as you can see, but the point of uh, this stage is not to make it, like, even to remove the scratches and that's what I've done already. Moving to the next piece and the ant needs the most attention once again. You can see it a bit naked night now after a slight pre-polish but I'm not finished. And free. And just like that, 800 grit is done for all three pieces. Next, I will use 1500 and then 2000 and then the polish itself. Let's go. 1500 is done. 2000 next. And 2000 is also done. All of the insects can be seen with naked eye right now. <laughs> and now <laughs> my my hand spent too long time in water. Look at my fingers, guys. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so let's finish it up and polish them for the final results. At last, the time has come for the last step polishing step and, and also time has come to polish my fingers because the pieces are so tiny that for sure I will polish a little bit of my fingers. Before, before applying the scratch remover, that's the thingy I polish them with, I need to make them dry because the scratch remover won't stick to it. Small and slippery, perfect. And the grand reveal. This is the piece with a flying ant. I had much trouble with this one, but it was all well worth it, because uh, you will see in a second uh, close-up pictures of the ant itself. For, for now we can observe the strange shape of this piece and why I had troubles with it in the inner side of the piece. The ant is very interesting, I didn't have before any ants, actually ants are in Hymenoptera family and they are also with other wasps and uh, 
bees in the same family, so that was a mind blowing for me, I didn't know that. Next we have this gem like piece, very clear and it contains a flying insect, this is wasp like uh, flying insect, from also Hemonoptera family, same as ant. And if we look at it closely, we can see that it does look actually like ant, a little bit. Very happy also with this piece, also my first Hymenoptera from this specific uh, order of insect in my collection, awesome. And last but not least, this small flat piece with a bug in it. This bug is actually called a marsh beetle or Satyridae family. Very beautiful, probably my best pop pictures of it ever. By this picture alone I can, success, can call this video a success, because the point of this video was to try and make better pictures than before, and I'm really happy with this picture of this uh, marsh beetle. Stunning. Very happy with myself and great addition to my collection once again. That's how these beetles looks like uh, right now. They're still, still alive, not extinct. Not exactly uncommon, this is pretty common beetle, one of more pop popular in Baltic Ember. So yeah guys, that's it for the video, I hope you liked it, if you did, consider putting a like and subscribing to my channel, it gives me motivating to make more and increase my collection for myself and for your also enjoyment, because I share every piece I do, I don't do any pieces off screen. <laughs> So yeah, bye.